Hello students, welcome to tutoringcluster.com. So in this video, we will be talking about basic terminologies of IC engine. So IC engine, it stands for internal combustion engine. So we will see what are engines, what are different types of engine, what is internal combustion engine and what is the layout, different parts we can say of an engine and the basic terminology is related to it. Right. So this would be very important video if you want to understand the IC engines. So if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. You can also join us on Telegram channel where I provide all the updates related to uh, notes or we can say related to our videos. You can also find us on Facebook. You can like our page. Okay. So let us start with the lecture basically what do you mean by engine what are engines basically now so basically engine it is a device which converts chemical energy of fuel chemical energy of fuel into first into heat energy and this heat energy is further converted into a mechanical energy right you know all the motor automobiles they are having the engine so what is happening inside the engine basically chemical energy of fuel so first it is converted into heat energy and then it is converted into mechanical energy we can say okay not engine mechanical energy now See, our automobile is moving. That means it's a mechanical power. It is moving due to mechanical power. Okay, motion, it is considered as a mechanical energy. Right? Okay. So, you can say these are also called as prime movers. You can say these are basically your thermal prime movers. These are basically your thermal prime movers. Okay. Right. Now, When we talk of uh, engines, there are different ways to classify the engines. Now, first is based on the fuel used. Okay, the simple one is let's say petrol and diesel engine, petrol engine. Okay, then you are having a CNG cars, right? Okay, then based on its working, how the engine is working. So, based on the piston motion, you can say. Okay, these are classified as two-stroke engines and four-stroke engine. Then based on the cooling system used. So this can be water-cooled or air-cooled or oil-cooled, whatever it is. Right. Then based on its construction, it can be a vertical engine or a horizontal engine. So these are basically a different ways to classify the engines, right? Okay. Now, we are interested in studying IC engines basically. So what are IC engines? So IC basically, it stands for internal, C stands for combustion. So these are internal combustion engines. Why these are called as internal combustion engine? Because the combustion of fuel, combustion of fuel, it takes place inside the cylinder. That's why these are called as internal combustion engine. Why? Air, it is induced from the atmosphere. Okay, so this engine basically it takes the air from the atmosphere, right? And the combustion of fuel it takes place inside the cylinder. Now, where are the applications of IC engine? So basically most of the IC engines, these are used in transport system. Okay, we are seeing the applications now. So in case of a transport system, you are having automobiles, you are having trucks, tractors, then two wheelers, right? Okay, now IC engine, these are also used in aeroplanes as well as in marine transport it is used. 
okay you are having a motor boats then generating sets also use the ic engine right as well as they are having some applications in industry for example earth moving plants are there then you are having a running mills are there concrete mixtures are there okay so all these are various applications of ic engine okay most common application we generally come in our everyday life is automobile right okay now basically what is the basic structure of ic engine and how it looks okay now this is going to be a very important slide okay so basically this is what this is a uh, various parts this figure it is showing the various parts of ic engine internal combustion engine so you are having this is a cylinder then inside the cylinder you are having the piston this piston is going to reciprocate inside the cylinder then this piston it is connected to crank so this is the rotating part crank by using what connecting rod by using what connecting rod so what is happening actually here and of course the combustion of fuel it is going to take place inside the cylinder right that's why these are called as ic engine that means the reciprocating motion of the piston it is converted into a rotary motion right wheels wheels of automobile they rotates how they rotates so this is the this is the main reason basically okay this crank is rotating so it is producing the power and that power is transferred to your wheels so wheels are rotated okay so reciprocating motion basically it is converted into a rotary motion that you have to first understand okay and the parts i have told you this is a cylinder this is a piston this piston is connected to crank using the connecting rod right now what are the basic terminologies these are going to be a very important okay now give attention so first terminology is a dead center now this is a vertical cylinder basically this is what a vertical cylinder with axis is vertical okay now in case of vertical engine when the piston is at top most position this piston it is at top most position is it right then the crank position is called as a top dead center top dead center tdc it is called as tdc okay that means piston is at top most position now when the piston is at bottom most position then the crank position is called as bdc that means it is a bottom dead center so basically it is showing how the piston is moving so piston will be moving between tdc and bdc okay it is going to move it is going to reciprocate between top most position and lower most position okay so this is about dead center right now next terminology is cylinder bore what do you mean by a cylinder bore bore means a diameter so the inner cylinder diameter of the engine is called as bore okay b o r e and basically it is denoted by small d right so it is nothing but a inner di inner diameter of cylinder right next terminology stroke length okay now what do you mean by a stroke length the travel of the piston from its tdc to the bdc is called as stroke of the piston is called as stroke of the piston okay now if r is the radius of the crank let's say r is the radius of the crank then the stroke length this is a stroke length that means distance between a tdc and bdc that is what a stroke length this distance l it is equal to 2 times r it is equal to 2 times r r is what it is the radius of crank okay so this is about a stroke length distance between tdc and bdc now what is clearance volume so clearance volume it is denoted by vc 
Okay, now the volume, the volume contained inside the cylinder when the piston is at top dead center. Okay, so this volume is called as clearance volume. Okay, again I am repeating. The volume contained in the cylinder when the piston is at top dead center. See, in this figure, piston is at top dead center. So, this volume, it is called as clearance volume and it is denoted as Vc. Now, next terminology you have to understand is Vs. Now, what is Vs? Vs is stands for stroke volume. Now, what is the stroke volume? The travel of the piston from TDC, the travel of the piston from TDC to BDC is called as piston stroke or it is called as stroke length which is denoted by L and the volume displaced by the piston during this motion is called as stroke volume. That means volume displaced by the piston when it is moving from TDC to BDC. It is called as stroke volume. So this is going to be your stroke volume. The upper one is called as clearance volume. Okay, right. So I hope up to this terminologies are clear. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please do like and subscribe. And also don't forget to share with your friends. You can also find the videos on MCQs based on unit one and two the link is given in the description box so if you are preparing for your upcoming insem exam please do watch those videos these are going to be very important videos next what is clearance volume clearance ratio what do you mean by a clearance ratio it is denoted by capital c now the ratio of clearance volume to that of stroke volume it is called as clearance ratio. Simple definition, the ratio of clearance volume to that of stroke volume. Now, this stroke volume can be calculated as Vs. The stroke volume can be calculated as pi by 4 d square L. Okay, volume of cylinder, pi by 4 d square L. Okay, right. Where D we know what is D? It is a cylinder board, and what is it? It is a stroke line. Right. So hope you have understood what is a clearance ratio. It is a ratio of clearance volume to that of stroke volume. Next, total volume of cylinder. Total volume of cylinder, it is nothing but clearance volume plus stroke volume. Simple definition. Right. Next, very important is compression ratio and you must know this ratio for petrol engine as well as for diesel engine. What do you mean by a compression ratio? So compression ratio the ratio of cylinder volume when piston reaches to BDC to the clearance volume that means what basically compression ratio it is defined as total volume of cylinder Vc plus Vs divided by Vc that is clearance volume. So basically what is compression ratio? It is a ratio of cylinder volume when piston it reaches to BDC to that of clearance volume right. So that is going to be what Vc plus Vs divided by Vc okay is called as compression ratio. Now Note that you must remember this thing. You can expect such type of MCQs. What are the compression ratio for SI engine? We can say petrol engine and CI engine. Okay, just note down. Let's say you are having SI engine. SI means a uh, spark ignition engine. Those are petrol engine. The compression ratio is between 5 to 10. Then CI engine. Okay, these are also called as uh, diesel engine. Okay, now in case of a CI engine, 
that is compression ignition engine the they work with a very high compression ratio so it varies between 14 to 10 so during our working when we are going to study the next videos that is the working of si and pi engine at that time you will understand why the compression ratios are higher in case of ci engine okay so that the question of this will be answered in upcoming videos so for time being just note down what are the compression ratio in case of si and what are the compression ratio in ci engine si it stands for spark ignition engine these are also called as petrol engine okay okay and ci engine these are compression ignition engine these are also called as diesel engine okay right now the last terminology is what we mean by the piston speed so basically it is the average speed of the piston and it is given as 2 ln this is what this will be in a 4 meters per minute l we know what is l it is a stroke length okay and what is n basically n is the speed of the crankshaft in rpm okay revolutions per minute so if you want to write this in meter per second let's say it will be 2 l into n by 60 this will be meters per second right so these are some important terminologies one must know related to ic engine right so hope with this it is clear that what are the different terminologies what are the different parts of ic engine what do you mean by engines why the ic engine name is given right then how the piston is moving okay so basically it's a reciprocating motion converted into a rotary motion okay so please do remember the definitions and some important formulas you may get a uh, simple mcqs on this and this is the most important part that is compression ratio right so hope you have understood this video related to different terminology of ice engine in the next video we will be talking about the working of si engine that is spark ignition engine and working of ci engine that is compression ignition engine right so please do hit the notification bell and subscribe to my youtube channel and please don't forget to share with your friends also so that they will also get benefited with this so as i'm making the videos from exam point of view these are not in details you also know that right so nothing to tell you about that right so if you want ic engine in detail it's a complete you will find a separate book on IC engines. Okay, but we are not going in that much depth, right? So these are videos to the point and from exam point of view. So hope you are liking these videos and you are finding these videos useful. So thank you everyone.